Hi, I'm Mark and welcome to the Sim Hanger, the Sim Hanger for all things flight sim related. Today we're in Xplane and we're looking at two fairly common issues experienced by Xplane users. The first is ground flickering caused by the shadows cast by the clouds, and the second is the poor resolution of the shadows generally, particularly noticeable in the cockpit. We're going to be having a look at two fixes, or perhaps more accurately, I should say, workarounds. Now, these are not mine. I can't take credit for them. They come from a fairly new YouTuber, VR Flight Sim, and I'll leave a link to his channel in the notes below. But for now, let's get started. Rather than just change the data refs, which means you've got to do this each time you load up Xplain, we're going to download a plugin, Fly with Lua NG. We're going to create a one line script, and this will ensure that it is loaded each time you start Xplain. Fly with Lua NG can be found on the xplain.org site and under the forums, link in the notes below. Log in, click download this file now, it's under 9 megabytes. The file will be downloaded as a zip file. Simply unzip the file using whatever utility you choose. And you will end up with the Fly with Lua plugin. Right click and make a copy of that. And then go to your main X-Plane installation. And under resources and plugins. Then right click again and then paste. You should now see under your main X plane, resources and plugin directories, the Fly with Lua plugin correctly installed. Double click the Fly with Lua to go into the directory and there you will see a subdirectory called scripts. Double click and go into that. There's a small Lua script in the directory. Please read the manual. That's not needed. You can delete that if you want to. Right click to bring up the submenu. Bring up the directories, choose new and go down and choose text document into the directory. We can now rename it. You can rename it anything you want. I'm going to call it Cloud Shadow Fix for easy reference. And once I've renamed it, open that up and it is a blank text file. This is where we need to enter our one line script. I already have it, so I will copy and paste it in. And I will also leave it in the notes below. So you can copy and paste it if you want. The script is set, open brackets, space, quotation marks, sim forward slash private, forward slash controls, forward slash clouds, forward slash limit underscore far quotation marks comma space 0 0.1 close brackets and that's it that's the full script by default this setting is set to 1.0 and we've changed it to 0 0.1 you can of course experiment with different settings depending on your system but i found 0 0.1 does just great for me now we go to File and click Save. We've already renamed it, so that's fine. And now there's one more step before we complete. We need to rename the file from text to Lua. If you can't see the file name extensions, click on View and click the box. That will allow you to see extensions. Now we're going to rename the file, but all we're going to do is change the text TXT to LUA. To indicate it is a Lua file. It'll ask are you sure? Click yes and we're done. So we've now installed Fly with Lua NG and we've created a script that will be loaded each time Xplain starts. Let's have a look if it worked.
Let's first of all have a look before any fix or changes applied. And there's the familiar jagged shadows that we're used to seeing. We can see them there on the seat and going up on the side of the door there. And if you just look under the armrest, you can just see how jagged they really are. Not very realistic. It is surprising somewhat that Laminar haven't fixed this themselves already. First of all, a quick disclaimer. Don't do this if you're not comfortable copying and pasting files, etc. We are going to be modifying a file that Laminar doesn't want us to play with. Main explain directory again and then resources. Then right at the bottom you'll see a settings.txt file. First of all, for safety, I would suggest you make a copy of that. Right-click copy and then right-click paste. Explain will only read the settings.txt file, so the settings copy.txt file is your backup. If you have problems, you can rename that file to settings.txt, deleting the other one first. One important point is when Explain does an update, it will see that that file has changed and ask if you want to replace it. The developers may have made other changes, so always allow that file to be overwritten. This means you may have to come in and make these changes again after an update. Let's now open the settings.txt file by double clicking on it. And there you can see the warning from Laminar. And what we want to do is we want to scroll down about three quarters of the way down the file until we get to the section as indicated on the screen. That long tab of settings and figures, we're only interested in the very end ones. And we want to change whatever's written there to 8192 and do so all the way down. You can copy and paste to make it a little bit faster. Or alternatively, you can enter them individually depending on your preference and what you're most comfortable with. Don't change any of the other settings. Once that's done... They're all at 8192, file and save, and we're done. We can now boot up explain and see if the changes have taken effect. Same situation as before, we're now looking at the seat, and we can see how much smoother the shadows are. Again, notice under the armrest, still some jaggies, but certainly improved. The bigger the shadow, of course, the more chance of seeing jaggies. So basically what we've done is taken the variable shadow graphic settings of 1, 2 or 4 meg textures and dialed them all the way up to 8 meg. By putting these values in the setting.txt file it will maintain this regardless of your graphic settings. Using a higher resolution texture will certainly impact on your system but I've found it to be nominal. And it works great in VR too. Turning now to the ground flicker fix, VR Flight Sim Channel has said that some pilots flying at altitude have still seen some flickering, but it's been thrown out further to the horizon. I haven't tested this yet, so I'm not able to confirm if that's an issue. If you're not experiencing the flickering issue, then the chances are that you're using a third-party application. I use Active Sky XP and don't really have a problem. I can't comment on other applications because I haven't used them. So there we are, two workarounds, one for ground flickering and the second one for improving the resolution of shadows. I've tried both and they work for me. I'm really pleased with the results and I hope they work for you. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope to see you all again very soon and bye for now. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell for future notifications.